this is Avraham Saltoon again from Jerusalem with one more uh, Studio Pro 5 tutorial on how to animate and we'll be looking at Bone Dynamics today. Yes, Bone Dynamics, uh, we'll be using a file that comes with um, Studio Pro 5 and the name of the file, the file can be found under File Open here is the path for those who don't know already uh, under tutorials the folded bones the tutorial 3.3 and this is a ready made file yes a ready made file that already even has a animation before you work on this file we like to show you what are we looking for look at the figure after we animate it, it doesn't have much life. Only one of the five bones move, and um, it doesn't have much life. The other bones, um, the other bones, they are dead. They, they don't have life in it. So we're going to add some bone dynamics. We'll see how it's done today. Uh, you'll be amazed to see how simple it is. And um, it's also a technique for automatic animation, meaning that a single move can generate um, other moves around your animation. And it could be even natural, like we'll see today. Now, I'll be pressing the stop button here at the bottom, and if you don't have, like I don't, the timeline, let's ask for the timeline and um, put our, let's go for frame number one, that's where our animation begins. And you already know from previous previous tutorials the select the bone tool, and we'll be selecting uh, the upper bone over here. Now, as we already know as well, uh, when we select a bone, the bone constraints um, dialog pops up at the top of the screen. We're going to ask for bone constraints, and then. This time, we're going to ask for body dynamics. We have a torque force, a spring force, and a damping force. Now let's close. Please remember, we have only one of our bones is now with dynamics. And let's see what happens to our animation. the bone starts moving together with um, the jumping up and down of the figure good enough for us but we want this to look real again in the timeline let's ask for the first frame to be sure and let's ask that supply the same behavior to each one of the bones here bone dynamics close and we don't really need to close and we can click here here makes the process far faster and now let's play the animation you see that looks even more natural and at the top of all it's automatic I mean it's all I have is one center bone moving and everything else comes from the shaking of the animation um, I strongly suggest you to play around these numbers if you want you can also ask the uh, uh, lower bones to be selected and try looking at the damp at the torque and the spring force and see the results so uh, next time you make animation the beauty of um, studio pro is that you can by a single move have much much more life than just a 
a, a trajectory and uh, this is one of the techniques it's called um, bone dynamics and you should add every time you create a figure make sure that above the constraints as some something will move together it's not just a frozen picture thanks for listening if again if you have questions if you have any doubt you can always email me my email shows at the end of this tutorial thank you very much